Well, today is April 30th, and we are learning about the last day of circumference of circles. So three components, directions, lesson and homework, and the summary. Direction. You will find the circumference of a circle. That's the circular part, the distance around a circle. I will compare different circles and decide which circle is larger. Here's our lesson and our homework as well, if we can ever get to it. You may either print out the worksheet if it's easier for you, or you can just go to the Google Doc assignment. In this assignment, here's our map charts. So compass right here, C equals 2 pi r, or C equals pi d, and pi is the same as saying 3.14, or 22 centimeters. So in here, you're going to decide which circle is larger. You're going to do a matching activity, and our homework assignment consists of 10 questions. All right, next part. So this is our anchor chart that reinforces our learning. It's called spoking of circumference. So circumference is the distance around a circle. Diameter is a line that goes from one end to the other end through the center. Radius is a line that goes from the edge to the center. Notice that the diameter is always double the size of a radius. Our radius is half the size of diameter. Um, to find the circumference or distance around, it's 3.14 of the diameter. So if you take the diameter 24 and wrap it around, it wraps around three times, plus a little more. So that's why it's 3.14 times 24, 75.36 inches. Or 2 pi r, if you know the radius, you do 2 times 3.14, 6.28, times 12, and stuff. All right, um, that's it.